Pittsburgh has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cougars and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They bring the quarterback down. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's taken down at the 47, so the opening drive failed to produce any points. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Hands it off. Tackle at the 46-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 46. Mike six. Mike six. At 225. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds around the 46 yard line. That makes it third and three. Tackles him hard at the 42. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. From the 42-yard line, first down. Got it and brought down immediately. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. two-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. It's second and goal. One yard to the goal line. Got a man open touchdown. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. And he hits the PAT. 
It was an eight-play, 51-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sound. They line up to kick this one away. And they can forget about returning this one. The Panthers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Wide receiver screenplay, and they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, second and six. six. They'll spread the field with five wide. Jet, Jet, Patriot, Patriot. Here's a run. It's on the ground. It's scooped up. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. And he adds the extra point. Pittsburgh gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pittsburgh's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time, but let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Here's the halfback on the screen. Down at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Here we go! That's a great tackle at the 29. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 29-yard line. It's third down. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws out, got his back again. And down he goes at the 39. That makes it second and 10. Taken down around the 45-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Number two makes the set ball at the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Fires out to his wideout. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. It's the ninth play of the drive. That makes it first and ten. 
They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. I'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. There are three quarters remaining. Pittsburgh's in front by 14. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. That makes it 37. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up, and it is good. Houston, ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he hits him hard at the 33. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes the catch and look out. And he shoved out of bounds at the 44-yard line. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Larry, Larry. Let's eat it up. 34. Go. Here's the tight end. Drops. Fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Oh, excellent punt. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's immediately tackled. I think it was a great play call. And it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. out to around the 48. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And he throws it away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Takes the ball inside. Nice run to the outside. Okay. The ball, the ball, the ball. 
That'll make it 35. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Down to 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. Ready! Easy, easy, easy. easy. Five. 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 Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. They'll line up with five wide receivers. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. It's up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Pittsburgh is up by eight. He gets out to about the 37-yard line from their own 37-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. Big hit there to stop him. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're that all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Three down, three down. Watch 14, watch 14. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. And that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The Cougars know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around. And it starts up front with the offensive line. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That brings us third and ten. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. Let's it fly. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time.
The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Houston's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Coming to you. Coming to you. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. 98 weasels! 98 weasels! Let's go! Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 10. Check, check! Navajo! Navajo! At the 10 yard line. First down. Ready! Check, check! Patriot! Patriot! Get to that quickly. Tackle made at the five. Easy, easy, easy. Rally, rally. Now he's scrambling. Got the corner. Nice move, and he scores. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They don't get it. So that's an eight-play, 69-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pittsburgh holds just a two-point lead. Got him. And he goes down quickly. The Panthers use their second timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's tackled at the 44. Gets it. He's in space. He's out of bounds at the 47 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 47 yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 49 yard line. Call the game four yards. That makes it third and three. Check tight right. Check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Watch the motion. Alert, alert. Watch the motion. Watch the motion. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. We've played a half. Pittsburgh in front, 14 to 12. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one-possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half.
All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Pittsburgh is up two. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Stop your whining. He wants it all. And he's tackled in the open field. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Complete. Number 15, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check five, check five, five, six, five, six. That's a great tackle at the ten yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Sheds a tackler. Nice run there. Here's the extra point that'll make it a two-score game. And he adds the extra point. A nice six-play, 75-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Number 25 brings him down at the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. And he's level at the 37. Game of seven yards. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike, Mike. Here we go, D. Here I come. Here I come. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He airs it out. And he's got it. Touchdown, Houston. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Houston kicks this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and then come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that.
The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Nice run to the left there. That brings up second and five. Second down and five. Ball on their own 30. Pittsburgh with a two-point advantage. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. Call it again in two yards. Third down. Roger, Roger. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's out to the 30. Oh, what a hit. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 34-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. Slings it. That's a game of on the play. That makes it first and ten. Throws complete. He's hammered. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. the 42-yard line. First down. Ready! Nice pitch and catch for the first down. He's brought down in the open field. Number two on the tackle at the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line. First down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Fumble! They fall on it. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Pittsburgh holds just a two-point lead. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. 
First and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Makes it to the five. The running back takes the pitch on the option, and that'll be a pickup of about nine. Trying to go up by two scores. They line up for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Number 10 with the tackle, the 37-yard line. First down. Quick out to his receiver, and he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. Number 44 on the tackle at the 43-yard line. So at the end of three, the Panthers lead 28-19. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And they push him out at the 48. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and 10. 10. Go, 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 go. Wants to throw outside. Found his man. Touchdown, Cougars. He makes the PAT. Houston, ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Brad, with this offense having the lead, you know they're going to work some clock. You know they're probably going to be conservative. It's a good opportunity for this defense to take some chances, pin their ears back, try to get aggressive and try to get the football back. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pittsburgh is up two. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And he is drilled at the 35. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of one on way. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 34-yard line. Watch Second 14, down. Watch 14. You must be dreaming. Rifles it right side. And he's got it. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line.
it's first and ten after the big pass play. And he tackles him hard at the nine yard line. the middle for a nice game. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. That brings them second and goal. From the three-yard line, it's second down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. two scores and he converts the extra point looks like they're ready for the kick he really got a hold of that kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 33. That makes, that makes it second, it second and two. two. Hurry, 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 hurry. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Oh! Fires out to his wide out, and he's tackled the 37 yard line. Number 10, the 37 yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 42 yard line. That's a great They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws in the middle, and he's tackled right away. Five wide. Quick pass. Brought down at the 47. Please, please, please. Rally. Check, rally. First down. Check, hot route. Hot, hot. Check, check. Fox 2. Fox 2. Quick throw. And down he goes. Right around the 32 yard line. First down. Ready. Green. He's hit and taken down. Got him. And he goes down quickly. We're at play number nine of this current drive. A little over a minute in the game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He gets rid of this one. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. 
great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. This defense just has too much speed. They did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Houston's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 15-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. That's a great tackle at the 20. If I'm a defensive coordinator and I'm facing an offense that's working the clock like this, I cannot give up first down. So what do I got to do? I've got to attack the gaps. I got to shoot low with the defensive line, and I got to get my linebackers and safeties up close to the line of scrimmage so I can't give up any short yards at all and eventually give up a first down. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. The Cougars, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.